understanding grind metal a deep dive into english idioms hello everyone and welcome to our english language learning channel today we're going to explore the phrase grind metal this phrase can be a bit confusing for english learners so we're going to break it down look at its meanings and see it used in different contexts get ready to add an interesting expression to your english vocabulary First, let's look at the literal meaning. The verb, grind, refers to the process of wearing down or sharpening something by friction, usually with a tool or machine. Metal, of course, is a hard, solid material used in many structures and products. So, literally, to grind metal means to shape, sharpen, or smooth metal by rubbing or friction. Now, let's dive into the more figurative or idiomatic uses of grind metal. In English, phrases often take on meanings that are different from the literal meanings of the words they contain. However, grind metal is not commonly used as an idiom. Its use in contexts other than its literal meaning is rare and might be specific to certain subcultures or industries. If you hear grind metal outside of its literal sense, it's important to consider the context to understand what it implies. To better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. Literal use. The blacksmith used a machine to grind the metal into a sharp blade. 2. Figurative use. If you encounter a sentence like, he went to work to grind metal, without any context of metalwork, it could imply hard, mechanical, or repetitive work, but this interpretation can vary widely. When learning idioms or phrases like, grind metal, it's easy to misinterpret them if they're used metaphorically. Always pay attention to the context in which they are used. If you're unsure, it's okay to ask for clarification or look for other cues in the conversation or text. And that wraps up our exploration of grind metal. Remember, understanding phrases in English isn't just about the words themselves, but also about how they're used in everyday language. We hope this video has been enlightening and helpful in your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to revisit this video if you need a refresher. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.